Opposition leader reacted angrily after Asagao shocker wherein bouncers raised Goan family Pradeep Agarwadekar's house and kidnapping of Pradeep and his son and also Anjuna police keeping silent spectator during the unlawful demolition. Leader of Opposition Yuri Alemaus, South Goa MP Captain Vidyato Fernandez, Goa Forward Chief Vijay Saldesai, Aldona MLA Carlos Alvarez Ferreira and TMC National Spokesperson Trazano de Mello termed Asagao incident a shocking and demanded stringent action on those involved in a horrific crime, destroying a household and grabbing land in Goa. The incident at Asagao that happened where Bulldozers were used to demolish a house when there were already occupants in that house, where the occupants were taken, kidnapped, tortured, released, is really a shocking incident. We have heard of bulldozer culture in UP, Madhya Pradesh has that reached war. I used to always tell my friends. One day this is going to happen. And all this responsibility, let's not talk about police, Mamlidar, the collectors, to transfer the properties. This all responsibility is at the doorstep of this very government. When the government has decided to sell Mother Earth, destroy the environment, do anything, everything today in Goa. Every person in India knows, including foreigners, that everything is for sale in It shows that there is a very sad situation where the house is being demolished without authority of law. First, Akit Sangosota, assuming that the person is Puja Sharma, had bought this house. You have to evict somebody who is staying in that house by lawful means. You have to file a suit and you must get a declaration and you must get an eviction order. Without doing this, you can't take law in your hand and come and demolish any building, even if you have bought the plot. Because you have to see what is the defense which the other person has, what rights or claims they are making. So if they are already in possession of this house, <coughs> with all their documents they are living here, I heard for so many years, it cannot be possible that this house has been built just last night. I can understand a construction which is going on illegally. You can stop it. You can even demolish it. A house which is standing there, which is a one-story, ground plus one-story house, which is standing for so long, even if you have become a subsequent purchaser, you cannot take law in your hands and demolish it. First thing is, I came to know that she said that she had made a call to 108. And I believe, and I sincerely believe that this Demolition could not have happened without the handiwork of the police. I am making this allegation because I have reason to believe and I have certain evidence to believe that there is a very high ranking police officer who is involved in this arrangement for making this demolition. For Prime Video Journalist Renuka Talgaukar, Mapsa.